Ghana wins B at this year's UC Mass International Competition in India. Yellow and green soared high at the 31st edition of the UC Mass International Competition in India, competing against more than 6,000 young minds from 30 countries, from 4 to 17 trophies in one year. That's the story of great growth and greatness. As Ghanaian students clinches 17 trophies from over 6,000 participants from over 63 countries, making them the top when it comes to mathematics. I'm from Ahmad Yibia from Ghana. Amata Gosno Bubuni from Ghana. Ando Jason Naemi from Ghana. Asamoa Dua Polin from Ghana. Diboro Precious Akosua from Ghana. Ghana A. Eh. Ghana, uh, Ghana, eh, Ghana, uh. this is a huge word for our Ghanaian students. Indeed, they have raised the flag of Ghana high in the international community. I was so scared. My heart was beating so fast. And if I don't get this trophy, what happens to me? What happens to me? But luckily, today, I got this champion trophy, all thanks to God. I am proud to be a Ghanaian, to be a student of Rice and Montessori School, to make everyone proud that I got a trophy on my first time of an international competition. It's very exciting to do UC Maths, and it helps you to be a mathematician when you grow up. I want this trophy for my family, my country, and my school. You are welcome to my channel. I'm Delicious Army. Here I talk Ghana. I talk Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, and all the good stuff relating to them. You all know when it comes to education, give it for motherland Ghana. Ghana is so determined in ensuring that it raises the next generation of educated and civilized minds. Let us listen to the beautiful students who went to India and made Ghana proud. Yeah, because I reached 184 over 200. I cried. I was not even able to eat. I was praying. The next day when we checked, they told me that I found the competition. I was very excited and happy. I put a lot of hard work into it. And I practiced about hundreds of papers to get this trophy. You all heard from these beautiful children. Yes, I call them beautiful children. They are so amazing amazing you all heard how they spoke so eloquently there are some adults that can't even speak like these children <laughs> see how they spoke so eloquently so intelligent and there was a part that drew my attention where she said oh i'm proud to be a Ghanaian." i was like oh my god let's watch that part again um, I'm proud to be a Ghanaian. I'm proud to be a Ghanaian. Thanks to everyone for helping us do it. We are bringing the trophies home. It's for Ghana. You, uh, you all heard this a uh, beautiful girl. She said, oh, I'm so proud to be a Ghanaian. Oh, we want this for Ghana. Oh, I'm very sure the Minister of Education, Dr. Yo Osei, him watching this video, he will feel so relaxed and happy in his heart that through him, Ghanaian education was taken to the next level. I always say this in this channel, an educated population will create less minance. Go and look at many of the countries that are creating so much minance. I am not saying they are not educated, but the question is what is the quality of education that is being given to such individuals? You also are Ghanaian students, our boys and our girls, clinching that amount of trophies. Was this competition made for guardians? Let's listen to these beautiful children. Come here to get this far. Couldn't have done this without all my supporters, as well as my parents, my friends, and my teachers. I would like to dedicate this trophy and everything to my parents and my instructor. With the amount of trophies these children clinched during this uh, award, it's obvious that they made this competition for them. But do you know one thing I like about what these children said? They said last year, 
They did not perform so well like they wished. So they took it upon themselves that this year they are going to do better. It's not as if they did not do so much last year, but they felt deep inside that they did not do enough. And they decided that this year we are going to work harder to ensure that we come home with a trophy and just look at the way they have kept the trophy of uh, and the flag of Ghana flying high when it comes to education. We have tamed the children. We just want them to write down what we tell them. At the day of exams, they should put down what we have told them. We say you are the best student the country has ever known. That kind of education system will not transform Ghana. That kind of education system is not going to give us critical thinking individuals, especially since we are um, in the 21st century and education 4.0, the fourth industrial revolution. You can memorize your way out of poverty, but you can critically think and innovate out of poverty. You all know when it comes to Indians, those people are taking all over. The Indians, the Chinese, Koreans, those people are taking over when it comes to smart minds. Those people are taking over when it comes to technology. You all know most of the major technologies are being developed in India and China. Most of these phones we use, they are, most of them are assembled in India. Most of them and China. But now imagine Ghanaian students going to India and winning that amount of trophy. That is to tell you how smart these kids are. And I'm sure that STEM education played a major role in ensuring that these children come out beautifully well. Indians are intelligent people. In mathematics, in pharmacy, in surgery, all around. If you know Indians, comment it in the comment section. Those people are smart people. Go to many of the tech spaces. Indians are taking over. Their educational standard is amazing, is out of this world. And that is why most of the major surgeries are done in India. When the case is so severe, they will just refer you straight to India. Why? Because they have a lot of calculated minds there. They have a lot of professionals. So for Ghanaian students to go to India and clinch this amount of awards, this goes to show that indeed these children you know have you know taken the name of ghana to the next level i always encourage people to do things that will put their country in a good light why because you are the light you are the person people are saying the fact that you do something wrong people will just automatically attach that wrong you have done to your country forgetting that we have so many people in your country that are striving to do the right thing but with the way these children have taken the name of Ghana high, trust me, so many other countries out there will now be looking at Ghana as, you know, the next destination when it comes to quality education. Although I heard that um, the Nana Akufo Ado's administration has stopped free SAH, free, free SHS. Uh, you know, the Nana Akufo administration introduced it during their eight year tenure, where they introduced free SAH to you know, uh, students, no need to pay school fees, free STEM schools, and the rest. But I've been seeing all over the media for a while that it has been cancelled, and this is what I was talking about before the elections. You all that watch me, you will agree that I kept ringing this thing like a bell. That I just hope that the new administration that we come in will retain Dr. Yo Osei. I remember I was saying it here. Why? Because I know how these politics work. When a new group come in, they just retire everybody in the old group, not minding if you performed well or you did not perform well. Now they have stopped this free SHS now. Hmm. Well, let's just hope that, uh, you know, the new administration coming in will continue it. And that the STEM schools will also remain free. Even if they will not be totally free, they will be subsidized to a level that even the poor in Ghana can, you know, attend free STEM schools. But feel free to drop your own opinion in the comment section. I was not really all that happy when I heard that the free SAH has been, you know, stopped by the outgoing administration. 
I just felt for those ones that cannot afford it. But let's see what the new administration will do when it comes to education in Ghana. And hopefully, Dr. Yo Osei is also retained. I'm Delicious Army. Yeah, I talk Ghana. I talk Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, and all the good stuff relating to them. Kindly like the video. Kindly subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye-bye.